This is a 2012 Chevy Knox. It is misfiring on uh, cylinder four, and uh, I've changed the plug on cylinder four. I've swapped the coil between two and four, and it's still on misfiring on cylinder four. It's an occasional thing, so I think at this point I'm going to believe that it is the injector. Online, I searched and searched, and I finally found somebody that said that the Schrader valve for the uh, fuel rail is on the passenger side and the in the rear fuel rail. It is not. I've looked and looked and looked. It is not there. However, I did find it's on the rear uh, fuel rail, but it is on the uh, driver's side. And there it is, nice and shiny. I took the cap off so you can see it. That's it right down there. So I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to drain as much fuel out of the fuel rail as I can and inject uh, as much cleaner mixed with gasoline as I can into the fuel rail. And I'm going to run the car on cleaner and see what I can do about freeing up that injector. Okay, Amazon just delivered my kit. Looks like I got a pressure gauge. Uh, a valve fitting this fits on the pressure gauge uh, valve fitting for a different size valve and a few fittings and some splices I got a little rail here so I'll figure out something to get uh, I need I need to figure out which one of these fits the uh, the Schrader valve on the car first and apparently it was the larger of the two that they sent me. I got it on there, but I haven't gotten it screwed down tight yet. But I uh, went in behind that hose and straight down, and it, it locked right on. And uh, now I just need to tighten it up. It probably feels going to come squirting out the other end because I got nothing on that end. Got it on there, but I don't know how tight it is. It seems to be tight, but I'm going to check it with the gauge and see if there's any leaks before I... Uh, uh, call it good. So we'll start the car. Take a real good look. Eh. Alrighty. We got about 55 psi. We got a good seal back here. Nothing's leaking. Great. All right. I had to go to Home Depot and pick up this little piece right here to fit into there, and it's got a little. Uh, compression fitting for this plastic tubing. I got, also got that at Home Depot. It's a quarter inch. And uh, so that, that allows me to put stuff in. And then over here on the other end of this pipe, I, that's uh, JB Weld Epoxy. And I'm going to use gum out to... Uh, pressurize this and push the uh, cleaner through so that's the plan so let's uh, let this epoxy dry and I'll get with it really uh, number 52 in the chart here right you can see right there okay and the uh, car won't even start with that relay out so now it's time to uh, give it some uh, carb cleaner through this little pipe yeah, I did turn it on and, and try to start it, and it, it started for a second and then died because there's no fuel pressure. So I've got the right fuse. And here's my little apparatus. This and this. I shortened it quite a bit because I don't want to uh, spend too much time pumping it through there. So anyhow, it's about uh, four foot long now. All right, give us a nice little tightening. Right. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now let's get this out here. And we're going to just plug it right in the end of this. Okay, it's nice and snug, and let's pressurize it. Oh, look at it go. 
You can hear it going in. You can know, see some of it going through there. So, let's see if the car will start. Hey, there it is running on cleaning for it. Give it another. Oh, oh, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm going to have to drop the phone here and get both hands going. Okay, now we got the engine running on pure carb cleaner. I'm going to empty this can and switch to the other can as soon as this dies. This is, this is getting close to empty. I can feel it. It's not very heavy. And I can still see fluid going through there. So it's still pumping carb cleaner through. Still going. I'm still sick going through the pipe. And that's why you see a bubble go through there. And I think it's getting low. More and more air is getting through. Uh, I'm going to try to switch cans here while the engine's still running. Okay, I switched to the second can without killing the engine. So we're running on straight uh, dumb out carb cleaner right now. We have for the last three or four minutes. Okay, that's about a can and a half. I'm going to call it quits and just let it die. Okay, I'm going to just shut it off. Okay, I just shut it off. But the fuel line or the fuel rails, both of them are still full of uh, carb cleaner. Uh, I got about a half a can here, so it's a, it's drink a uh, can and a half of carb cleaner. And let's see, it's probably still pressurized. Yeah, a little bit dripped out. So, oop, still still spraying. All right, I'm gonna take this thing off of there and hook up the the fuel pump again and uh, see we take it for a ride. All right, everything's back to normal. And then it's still probably running on uh, carb cleaner, but that should be gone soon and uh, be running on gasoline again as soon as the fuel rail is empty. Sorry again, I lied again. That's, that's Fuse 52, that's the fuel pump. <laughs>